Hey there, Jay here, and I just finished watching Ninjago Crystallize, now announced to be the series final, the last season of Ninjago, before the next new series set in this world. So, going into this, it all looks like it's going to have an ending kind of feel. I mean, it's the combination of five seasons. I mean, the whole show is like 15 seasons, but specifically this season was going to culminate the last five newly animated seasons and there's a lot going into this i mean we see williams returning i mean from the trailers we get to see the williams return we get to see a lot of people coming together that's all has been teased in the trailers as for the season itself i would say that while it was quite flawed it was a fulfilling ending to the series so flawed in what way? So first I would say that, you know, when they bring in some characters, some plot lines, there are plot holes. I mean for me anyways, like some things doesn't really make sense as like for example why a character is there like why the character is doing that. I mean it kind of feels off for some of the characters, not all of them. Mostly it works but for some of them it's really off. And another thing I would like to critique there a little, it would be the rush pacing towards the end of the last episode. I mean, for the entire series, the, the entire season, I mean, the pacing works really well. But in the last episode, I would have just wished that if you had gotten more time to close things up properly. I mean, this is the series final. At least make it feel like it will end with more closure, but that's just my personal opinion. And besides of my negatives of the season, the others are pretty good. I mean, we get some really good payoff built up for throughout the seasons. We get some really good animations there. And of course, animation has always been improving, but this season is really the best out of the past five, I would say. And we get some good action and some character moments as well. And all of it was tailored across the years. Like when Valve Rain took over Ninjago, there have been planting seeds. I wouldn't. I don't know if whether this was the plan they always had, but they definitely do make it seem that way now. So from season eleven to season fifteen, and I look at it now, it makes sense, and that's a good thing. And overall, this season, I would say not the smoothest fight, but a fulfilling one. And I would say that for now, this iteration of Ninjago can be put down. Was I a bit disappointed with how they ended things? I mean, the way they ended it, yes, I was. But ultimately, it's kind of good they left it a bit open there. I mean, leave us blanks for us fans to fill in. I mean, <laughs> am I right? But anyway, what do you think about Ninjago Crystallized? Do you watch it? What are your thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below.